Hi everyone, you are going to be learning about X and Y intercepts today and being that it's Easter Sunday, one of the dogs decided to wear his Easter glasses. Okay, let's talk about what the X intercept is and the Y intercept. The X intercept is the coordinate point where a line crosses the X axis. So if you look at the x-axis, you can see that the line is crossing the x-axis at negative 2. And then let's look at the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where is the coordinate point where a line hits the y-axis. So the line is hitting the y-axis at 4. So the x-intercept is going to be negative 2. And the y-intercept is going to be 4. All right, let's look at the B graph. The x-intercept looks like it, the line is hitting at negative 5. And the y-intercept, the line is hitting at 1. One more. Let's look at graph C. So when you look at, I'm going to use red this time, the line is hitting the x-axis at 3, as you can see. And then the y-intercept is where the line is crossing the y-axis. So at what point is it hitting the y-axis? And looks like, since this is 1, looks like it's hitting at the half, at 1 half. So that is your y-intercept. Again, it's where the line is crossing the y-axis. So x-intercept is where the line hits the x-axis. y-intercept is where the line is crossing at the y-axis. Okay, let's look at another line here. It's a complete horizontal line, and it's crossing the y-axis at point 3. So the line hits the y-axis at 3, so that is your y-intercept. Notice how the line is not hitting the x-axis at all, so there will be no x-intercept. And now let's look at the vertical line here. Notice the vertical line is hitting the x-axis at negative 2, so that's your x-intercept, but there is no y-intercept because the line will never hit the y-axis. Okay, for these three graphs, we're just going to locate the x-intercept, but we're also going to give the coordinates for that x-intercept. So let's look at the first graph. Notice how the x-intercept is 2 but the coordinates for that x-intercept is 2, 0, because 2 is the x-coordinate, and then it's across from the 0 on the y-axis. All right, let's, let's look at the middle graph. Again, the x-intercept, you can tell the is 5, because it's hitting the x-axis at the point 5, um, but the coordinates for that x-intercept is 5, 0. All right, let's look at the third graph. Again, the x-intercept is negative 4 because the line is hitting at the coordinate point negative 4 on the x-axis. So the coordinates of that x-intercept is negative 4, 0. You notice how all of the x-intercepts have a y-coordinate of 0. Again. All of the x-intercepts have a y-coordinate of 0. That's really important to notice. And you'll find out why later. Okay, let's study the y-intercept a little bit more. So y-intercept means where does that line hit the y-axis? And it looks like it hits at 4. The coordinates for that y-intercept is 0, 4. All right, let's look at the middle graph. The y-intercept is 1 because the line hits the y-axis at 1, and the coordinates for that y-intercept is 0, 1. All right, and then the, finally the last graph. The y-intercept where the line hits the y-axis is negative 3. So the coordinates for that point is 0, negative 3. Now notice with the y-intercept, all of the x-coordinates are 0. That's really important to note because on the previous slide, for the x-intercept, all of the y-coordinates were 0. So it would be something like 3, 0. 
All right, those two slides are very important. Let's look at the next slide and I'll tell you why. As you can see, all of the x coordinates were zero. So, okay, when given an equation and they're asking you to find the x intercept, we are simply going to substitute zero in for y. So as you can see, I substituted 0 in for y, and now I'm left with 2x equals 16, divide both sides by 2, x is equal to 8. So there's your x-intercept, and remember, x-intercept is where the line hits the x-axis, so the coordinates for the x-intercept is 8, 0. Now, when we want to find the y-intercept, According to the previous, when we go back to this slide, we're going to enter 0 in 4x and solve for y, which would be your y-intercept. So we have 4y equals 16, and then we're going to divide both sides by 4, and y is equal to 4. So the y-intercept is 4, and the coordinates for that would be 0 Four. So again, let's talk about that. Anytime we want to find the x-intercept, we would substitute 0 in for y. If we want to find the y-intercept and given an equation, we would substitute 0 in for x. Let's look at another example. Okay, here's another example, and before we start, we are going to add the opposite to make sure it's a negative 6y. And I'll do that right here, too, as well. So again, to find the x-intercept, we need to substitute 0 in for y. So we have a negative 6 times 0 equals 12. So then we're left with 3x equals 12. And divide both sides by 3. This becomes a 1. x equals 4. So the x-intercept is 4. The coordinates for where that point crosses the x-axis is going to be at 4, 0. Okay, let's find the y-intercept. So what we're going to do is we are going to substitute, well first we're going to add the opposite, and then we're going to substitute 0 in 4x and solve for the y-intercept. So we're going to divide both sides because you have to get rid of the negative 6, it's not just a plain old 6. And then negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. So then you have y is equal to a negative 2. So the y-intercept is negative 2. That's where your line is going to hit the y-axis. And I'll give you a little demonstration here. It's going to hit the y-axis right at this point. And so the coordinates for that point is 0, negative 2. Because if you recall, this is 0 right there, so below zero, you're into the negatives. Okay, once again, we're going to find the x and y intercept. I like to make a little xy table when I'm doing that. And I'm going to first start out by substituting zero in for x so I can find the y intercept. So there's my substitution. Two times zero is zero, so I'm left with three y equals 12. Divide both sides by three. 3 divided by 3 is 1, y equals 4, there's my y-intercept, and the coordinates for that y-intercept are 0, 4. You need the coordinates because you have to graph it. Now I'm going to solve for the x-intercept, so I have to substitute 0 in for y. So there's my 0, and then uh, I'm left with 2x equals 12, because 3 times 0 is just 0. Then I divide both sides by 2. x equals 6. So my x-intercept is 6. And I'm going to put that right in my table. And the y-coordinate was 0, because I substituted 0 in for y. So now when I go to graph it, I know my x-intercept, first of all, is 6, and my y-intercept is 4. So if I graph it, 0, 4, and we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and then my 
that's my y-intercept, and then my x-intercept is 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's my x-intercept. Again, the y-intercept is 4, and that's where my line's going to hit at the 4 mark, and the x-intercept is 6, and that's where my line is going to hit the x-axis. So when I draw my line, and hopefully you'll draw straighter than that, you can connect the x and y-intercept, and that's how you would graph the equation using the x and y intercept. Okay, let's look at another example. I'm going to make my little xy chart here and I'm going to graph this equation by finding the x and y intercepts. So I am first going to start out by adding the opposite and making sure that I do that to both equations. So now to find the y-intercept, I have to put 0 in for x. So I'm going to start over on the left equation, which is the same equation, plus negative 3 times 0 equals 9. And then I have 2y equals 9. Divide both sides by 2. And it looks like y equals 4 and 1 half. So that's my y-intercept. And now let's look at my x-intercept. So I'm going to first put a 4 and a half in the xy table. So now in order to find my x-intercept, or my y-intercept, sorry, no, nope, my x-intercept, that was right, I'm going to substitute 0 in for y to find my x-intercept. So 2 times 0 plus negative 3x equals 9. And then I'm left with negative 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by negative 3. And that turns to a 1. And x is equal to negative 3. So my x-intercept is a negative 3. I'm going to sneak it in this table. And then I'm going to go ahead and graph. So my x-intercept is negative 3. My y-intercept is 4.5. So when I graph it, my x-intercept says that's where I'm going to hit the x-axis. So I'm going to find negative 3 on the x-axis and put a dot. Then my y-intercept is 4.5. That's where my line is going to hit the y-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half is right here. And then I'm going to try to draw a really straight line, as straight as I can. And that's how you graph an equation using the x and y-intercept. After you're done with your homework, go ahead and make a big bowl of popcorn and relax. Good luck with your homework.